Welcome everybody uh, to our next sprint demo. Today we're going to specifically walk through more detail on our IIIF content search implementation and how it searches OCR. So specifically, we want to give a little bit more context about what we're receiving for the Virtual Tribunals project and how it all fits together. So currently, um, we receive, for, in terms of the material that we got for the East Timor project, uh, we had a set of image-only PDFs, which we then sent to a, a vendor, and um, we had them extract uh, individual pages as TIFFs and produce a uh, page level OCR for, uh, for that material. So the OCR is currently marked up at the word level with bounding boxes um, using the Alto 3 OCR standard. And uh, Chris will go into a little bit more detail about how this all fits together. I just want to show the, the Alto XML format here. You can see each, each word is marked up um, uh, with its content and bounding box information within lines and paragraphs and pages. Um, and we're, we're able to use this information um, to extract uh, a good deal of information for our index. Um, for the Virtual Tribunals project right now, we have about 300 objects um, with about 4,000 pages uh, represented in that uh, collection. Um, for indexing, uh, we, as I said, we extract the Alto XML into a, it's not there, window. Um, there we go. We, we extract the Alto XML into a slightly easier to parse format for solar. Um, what we do is we take each word and each bounding box position uh, and join them with a separator. In this case, we've used a little emoji hand, uh, counting on the fact that that doesn't appear in our content normally. Um, so we're able to use this information within Solar to uh, then extract the bounding box information as a, a, a Lucene payload. Uh, and what this allows us to do is retrieve that information later um, while also not having it affect things like phrase searching. Um, uh, so we, we have our OCR content index uh, in this payload delimited format, um, and that allows us to use uh, a solar analyzer to take the original text with, with the payload in, um, strip out the payload, so we're left with the, the original word and um, unfortunately given in hex uh, the, the payload information, um, and then apply various stemming rules um, and case folding and uh, Unicode normalization um, to power search while still pre preserving the payload um, when we go to retrieve it later, um, for example, when we're trying to do highlights. Um, so if I do um, a search within Solar for the word judge, we get back all the pages that are relevant, um, and this is going to be important when we see it in the viewer, uh, and we also see um, snippets out of those pages um, and because we, we use the payload, we get to see the coordinate information uh, at the highlight level, which allows us to draw bounding boxes on, on our uh, JP2 images uh, within the viewer. Um, and this is all powered through the IIIF Content Search API, um, which you can see at IIIF.io. Um, and basically what it does is nicely wraps something like this raw solar response into a format consumable by various IIIF viewer implementations like Universal Viewer or Mirador um, as uh, IIIF annotations. Um, and this allows us to provide bounding boxes for each word um, on particular pages um, and also provide some before and after context so you can see a hit in context. Uh, when you take this and put it all together in a viewer context, um, here is a, a judgment document um, for virtual tribunals. Uh, it allows us to do things like search for the word judge, and we will get a list of uh, suggestions uh, for phrases that include that word. Um, so we have judge itself and various judges on the case. 
Um, we'll click one and start to see some highlights on particular pages. So we have our, our judge on page one and on the last page it appears. Uh, and we're doing word level highlights. And um, one, one thing we discovered uh, early on in this process is the OCR position data we get back from the vendor is not always accurate. Um, and so we, we, by doing word level highlights, we're also able to take advantage of a feature in Universal Viewer where it shows you what, what word it's matching on. Uh, and that, that helps you correct for some, some of the error in that data. Yeah. 